So hence we did proportions. Let's see what we had. What is proportion? We did what proportion was that when two ratios are equal, we say that the terms are in proportion. Missing term problem. If you knew this, if you knew this, if you knew this, how do you find this? We have done. If for example, 2 by 3 we have and you have 7. So this is going to be 7 into 3 upon 2. Those kind of problems. Properties of proportion. Quickly, if we list these properties, we have the properties that is we start with the cross multiplication property that is if a by b is c by d a d is going to be equal to c d then we had invertendo rule that is b by a will be d by c then we have alternando rule where we alternate the consequence and antecedents we have componendo rule that is a plus b upon b is equal to c plus d upon d that is dividendo rule that is a minus b upon b and that will also be equal to c minus d upon d. A combination of componendo and dividendo, a plus b upon a minus b equal to c plus d upon c minus d. And we did the addendo rule. If we have a large number of ratios a by b, c by d, e by f, then each of these will be equal to a plus c plus e upon b plus d plus f. Same way for subtrahendo, a minus c minus e is also equal to b minus d minus f. So these were the basic properties of proportion. Mean proportion we did that if three numbers, say 4, x and say 8 were in continued proportion, which means that x square would be equal to 4 into 8. So in that case, x is called the mean proportional of 4 and 8. In other words, x is the square root of 4 and 8. So, the mean proportion of 4 and 8 is obtained by multiplying them and then taking the square root. Then, we quizzed ourselves and checked how much we understood about these things. We did a couple of application problems only. So, with that, we wind up with the process of proportion. I do hope you got your concepts clear. Thank you very much.